Welcome fellow enthusiasts. Join us on an educational journey back in time, where humanity's story began amidst the rugged embrace of the Stone Age. The Stone Age, spanning eons of prehistory, witnessed the emergence of our earliest ancestors as they forged their existence with the most primitive of tools, stones fashioned into implements of survival. Within this vast expanse of time, humanity's relationship with the natural world blossomed. Among the myriad discoveries, one plant stands out as a testament to our ancient ingenuity and resourcefulness, the cannabis plant. Archaeological evidence reveals that the cannabis leaf, with its myriad uses, served as a cornerstone of ancient civilizations. From the weaving looms of Taiwan's Ma Renjiabian hemp textile to the sacred rituals of India's Bang, its presence echoes through the corridors of history. Join us as we embark on an odyssey, unraveling the mysteries of humanity's past and the profound role that cannabis played in shaping our shared journey. Before we dive in, please be aware that this is an educational video and is for educational purposes only. Next, we'd like to express our gratitude for tuning in. Don't forget to show your support by liking, subscribing, and sharing for future content. Thank you, and let's get started. The Stone Age was a prehistoric period characterized by the use of stone tools, and it's generally divided into three main periods, the Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and Neolithic. The exact time frame of the Stone Age began around 2.5 million years ago, with the earliest known stone tool use by hominins, and lasted until the introduction of metal tools, which marked the beginning of the Bronze Age, around 3000 BCE in some areas. It's widely believed among ethnobotanists and researchers that cannabis was one of the first plants that early human ancestors explored and utilized. Archaeological evidence suggests that cannabis was cultivated and used by ancient civilizations for various purposes, including as a source of fiber for textiles, food, medicine, and for its psychoactive properties. Here are 10 archaeological findings that demonstrate cannabis use was prevalent among Stone Age people and that they had a clear understanding of its properties. 1. The Ma Renja Bian Hemp Textile the discovery of a hemp relic dating back to around 10,000 BCE in Taiwan represents one of the earliest known instances of hemp use by human societies. This relic, known as the Ma Renjabian Hemp Textile, was found at the Ma Renjabian Archaeological Site in Taiwan. The relic consists of a piece of woven fabric made from hemp fibers, providing evidence of early textile production in the region. The discovery suggests that hemp was cultivated and processed by the ancient inhabitants of Taiwan for its fibers, which were used to make textiles, ropes, and other items. The significance of the Ma Renjiabian hemp textile lies in its antiquity and its contribution to our understanding of the early use of hemp by human societies. It indicates that hemp was already being utilized for its fibers during the prehistoric period, long before the development of written records. Two. The Oki and Kyushu Islands, located in the Sea of Japan, have been the site of significant archaeological discoveries, including evidence of early human habitation and plant cultivation. One notable finding is the discovery of charred cannabis seeds, also known as Akenes, dating back to around 8000 BCE. The oldest known depiction of a hemp plant comes from Kyushu Island. Dating back to around 5,500 BCE, this depiction was discovered on a piece of pottery from the Jomon period, which is renowned for its distinctive cord-marked pottery. The Jomon period, spanning from approximately 14,000 to 300 BCE, is known for its distinctive pottery and hunter-gatherer lifestyle. 3. The Siberian Ice Maiden, also known as the Princess of Yukok, is a well-preserved mummy dating back to around the 5th century BCE. She was discovered in 1993 in the Altai Mountains of Siberia, Russia, near the Yukok Plateau. In 2012, a study conducted by researchers found evidence of cannabis in the burial chamber where the Siberian Ice Maiden was interred. Specifically, containers with cannabis seeds and small charred stones, which were likely used as incense, were discovered. This discovery suggests that cannabis may have held some cultural or ritual significance for the people who buried the Ice Maiden. It's widely believed among ethnobotanists and researchers that cannabis was one of the first plants that early human ancestors explored and utilized. 
Cannabis has a long history of human use, dating back thousands of years. Archaeological evidence suggests that cannabis was cultivated and used by ancient civilizations for various purposes, including as a source of fiber for textiles, food, medicine, and for its psychoactive properties. For Otzi the Iceman, also known simply as Otzi, is a well-preserved mummy of a man who lived during the late Neolithic or Copper Age, approximately 3300 BCE. His remains were discovered in 1991 in the Otztal Alps, hence his nickname, Otzi. In 2008, researchers conducted a study on Otzi's remains and found traces of cannabis pollen in his belongings. These findings suggest that Otzi may have been familiar with the cannabis plant. 5. The Yangshao Culture Hemp use in China dates back to ancient times, with archaeological evidence indicating its cultivation and utilization during the Neolithic Age, in between 5000 and 3000 BCE. Pottery artifacts from the Yangshao culture have been discovered bearing imprints of hemp fibers, suggesting that hemp was used in various aspects of daily life by the people of this culture. These hemp imprints on pottery provide direct evidence of the cultivation and processing of hemp for fiber production. 6. Hemp Fabric Archaeological evidence indicates that cannabis was an important crop in ancient Korean societies. With hemp fabric samples dating as far back as 3000 BCE, hemp and fabric samples have been discovered at various archaeological sites across Korea, providing insight into the widespread cultivation of cannabis and the production of textiles from its fibers. These fabric samples suggest that cannabis was cultivated for its fiber, which was then used to make textiles for clothing, rope, and other purposes. The use of cannabis in ancient Korea was not limited to textile production. There is also evidence to suggest that cannabis may have been used for medicinal and ritualistic purposes. Historical records and archaeological findings indicate that cannabis was used in traditional Korean medicine to treat various ailments and was also used in shamanistic rituals. 7. The Jerzankal Cemetery, located in the Pamir Mountains of western China, is an archaeological site that has yielded significant discoveries shedding light on ancient cultures and their interactions with psychoactive plants, including cannabis. In 2016, researchers excavating the Jerzankal Cemetery discovered nearly 2 pounds, approximately 0.8 kilograms, of well-preserved cannabis plant material buried alongside the remains of individuals dating back to around 500 BCE. Analysis of the plant material revealed that it was high in THC, the psychoactive compound in cannabis, indicating that it was likely cultivated for its psychoactive properties. This discovery is significant because it provides some of the earliest direct evidence of cannabis use for its psychoactive effects. The presence of cannabis at the Jerzankal Cemetery suggests that it may have been used in ritualistic or ceremonial contexts by the ancient people who inhabited the region. 8. The Beaker Burial In 2007, a late Neolithic grave attributed to the Beaker culture was discovered near Hattemerbrook Gelderland, which is located in the Netherlands. Dating between 2459 and 2203 BCE, researchers found the grave contained a notably high concentration of cannabis and meadowsweet pollen. The beaker culture is associated with various burial practices, including single graves and the inclusion of grave goods, indicating the significance of these items to the individual that was being buried. Analysis suggested the pollen was for medicinal use, with cannabis likely serving as a painkiller and meadowsweet for its fever-reducing properties. Archaeologists speculated that the individual buried had been seriously ill, indicating sophisticated medical knowledge and herbal practices within the beaker culture. This find sheds light on prehistoric medicinal practices and underscores the cultural significance of herbal remedies in ancient European societies. Not the Abers Papyri. In the annals of medical history, few documents hold as much significance as the Abers Papyri. As one of the oldest collections of writings in ancient history, the Abers Papyri dates back to approximately 1500 BCE. This remarkable manuscript offers a window into the medical practices of ancient civilizations, particularly those of the Egyptians. Among its fascinating remedies lies prescriptions that call for the use of cannabis-infused honey. 
Cannabis, known as Shem Shemit in the manuscript, was referenced for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, qualities that likely contributed to its effectiveness in treating various ailments such as open wounds, ulcers, and various gynecological illnesses. This ancient usage of cannabis-infused honey demonstrates an early understanding of the synergistic benefits of combining medicinal herbs with honey, a natural substance known for its antimicrobial and soothing properties. Tenbahang, a traditional edible preparation made from the leaves and flowers of the female cannabis plant, boasts a rich and varied history, particularly within the Indian subcontinent. Its use spans thousands of years encompassing medicinal, religious, and recreational purposes. The roots of Bhang's use in India can be traced back to as early as 2000 BCE. It is mentioned in ancient texts such as the Atharva Veda, one of the four Vedas of Hinduism. These texts refer to Bhang as one of the five sacred plants, associating it with various gods, particularly Shiva, who is often depicted consuming it. Ancient Ayurvedic texts describe Bhang as having numerous medicinal properties, using it to treat ailments such as fever, dysentery, and digestive issues. Its analgesic and anti-inflammatory properties were well recognized in traditional Indian medicine. Bhang has also been an integral part of Hindu religious practices, especially significant during the festival of Holi, where it is consumed in the form of Bhang Tandai, a milk-based drink. Devotees believe that consuming bhang helps to connect with the divine and enhances spiritual experiences. The history of bhang is a testament to its enduring cultural, religious, and medicinal significance, particularly in the Indian subcontinent. From ancient times to the modern era, bhang has played a multifaceted role, symbolizing the complex relationship humans have with psychoactive plants. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the Stone Age and the profound influence of cannabis on our ancient ancestors, we invite you, fellow enthusiasts, to continue exploring the mysteries of history with us. What other tales from the annals of time would you like us to uncover? From the secrets of ancient civilizations to the wonders of the natural world, your suggestions guide our quest for knowledge. Remember to like, subscribe, and share if you've enjoyed this adventure, and don't forget to ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest discoveries. Until our paths cross again, may your curiosity never wane, and may the echoes of history inspire your journey forward. Thanks again, and until next time, stay curious.